This is no voices. How are you guys? I'm fuming. I know there's. Balls in. I didn't know the other one. Sorry, guys. But anyway. <laughs> um, Daniel. Yes. You joined me today for a beautiful day. I was quite worried earlier that we weren't going to have anything to talk about, but I finished work and I was like, Jesus fucking Christ, there we go. But um, Daniel. I went crazy. Are you well, sir, today? Uh, I am. I am. Well, uh, I'm tired. Hard day at work. But hard day. I'm all right. Hard day indeed, mate. Uh, what have you been up to this past couple of days, mate? Um, the wrong, I'm on the wrong YouTube channel, for fuck's sake. Sorry. <laughs> I've basically... I obviously did uh, Casual Friday with you. Um, yes. So Fall Guys on Friday. Um, I did a little bit of Smash whilst drunk on uh, Saturday. Drunk. <laughs> yeah. Um, and all the rest of the time I've been watching stuff. So on... What are you uh, watching, mate? So on Sunday, I watched Cougar Town with uh, Mary, my darling. Oh, I had it good. It's growing on me. Oh, I. Yeah, it's growing on me. It's actually quite enjoyable. Um, f quite funny. Obviously very American, but... I can imagine, mate. I can imagine. Still quite enjoyable. Um, and I've watched four episodes of James May, Our Man in Japan, because it's so sure, mate. goddamn funny, actually. <laughs> James May, the Top Gear presenter, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how, yeah. Was, how was that? It's really enjoyable, actually. Okay. Um, you, you, I've you. always thought, I always thought that um, James May was the bore, the most boring of the three. He's the most boring of the three, but he's quite after, funny. Yeah, after watching this i've um learned to appreciate him a lot more he is very very funny and he's quite, um, witty. He's quite, he's quite funny to be fair yes um know. and i would recommend anyone to watch it cause, um, what's it called not just um it's so it's just james may our man in japan it's basically just about um learning about japan japan um, yeah, yeah, yeah um it does all, all, there, all over it mate yeah indeed um sweet uh dan i want to surprise you now Okay. Uh, Jam's bailed again. He's decided yeah. that he's going to have a nice week in Wales and he's just not going to, he's not going to sit on the show. Um, just not so he's just going to leave us. And then the day that happens, we've got something to talk about later, which we'll talk about later. You know what I'm saying? Um, but as for myself, mate, what have I been doing? Uh, yeah, what have you been doing? I finished the um, Create Your Own Hero uh, Captain Tsubasa playthrough. Okay. Um, for what it is, no, it's all right, mate. It's all right. It's all right. It's just not going to set the world on fire. Um, mm -hmm. It's quite satisfying getting your own player into the into the World Cup final, or whatever, and winning the World cool. Cup with Japan. Spoiler alert, by the way. But um, that happens. Um, play a bit more Dark Side of Genesis again. Dungeon Crawly, isometric game. Really like it, and I, I like it that much. So I'm going to start the series in the first one. When I've done this one. Probably got about the wrong way around, but I don't care. I do what I want. Uh, <laughs> watching. Got one episode left of Watchmen. Oh, okay. Go and watch it, please. It's fucking. Still, it's still so it fucking so good. You don't need to watch. You don't need to read the book to so watch the film or whatever. Just go and watch it. It's so good. Um, Where can I watch it? Uh, I acquired it. If you know what I'm saying, her and me matey and all that shit. It's not emulated. Um, it's <laughs> HBO, so I'm not sure where where you'd be able to watch it in English. Is it HBO got anything over here? Um, I don't think there is, but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to find it somehow. Yeah, uh, nine episodes. Um, yeah, it basically turns it's like a white supremacist group thing in, and Jeremy Irons' character is quite interesting and. And it goes on. Hulu. That's the one. Cheers, Jam, mate. Um, go watch on Hulu. Or is that... Amazon... I'm not fucking doing that, mate. But yeah, Hulu. It's on Hulu. Um, yeah, and I also took my GameCube downstairs and started playing some Mario Smash Football, some Ikaruga, some Wave Race Blue Storm. By the way, I've got something to ask you, mate. Yeah. Anyone in the chat as well? Anyone on YouTube? I have, I have a question. My question is, what the fuck happened? Why are our cases shite? 
in Japanese cases are they cool? That's my question. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because you know the I'm Japanese... The, the thing is with the Japanese, and this is obvi this is actually something I've learned from, um, from James May in Japan. Mm -hmm. They're always very artistic. Yep. Like there's like there's so much more creativity there and so much more imagination than what our minds can actually yeah, almost no press that it just they literally all their covers are way better than ours. Hundred mm -hmm. percent. And um Yeah, because one of my favourite artists of all time is uh Hokusai. Um mm. you've seen his picture probably on my wallpaper and my computer but um, it's that wave yeah the wave yeah of, another one of, another uh, one yeah. kind of go i would say uh, but i always got mixed up um very fa he's a fantastic like, just just google hocker size and his work is phenomenal like, yeah, yeah yeah no i have seen that wallpaper before yeah I think. uh you've seen it before this very uh pop culture's had a fucking field day with that uh painting um but yeah I, I, are you any plans for the week dan apart from work and yeah, um, you not really, no. Not I'm just that. I've got a, Yeah, yeah, we've got uh, you. Yeah. Which we'll talk about in a bit. So we get something about that's come out over the weekend. So, whatever. Um, yeah. It was just chilling this week, yeah. Just, just working yeah. and um, I, I'll just be preparing for a casual Friday. Well, probably going to see my parents and yeah, whatnot. I'm not 100% it's going to be Friday. So, I should have said this before. I'm not going to. I'm not 100% we're going to do it on Friday this week because work is Saturday. All right, okay, part of me wants to uh, solve the robot again. Part of me wants to go to bed and just chill. But um, if not Friday, we'll do Saturday afternoon or something. Uh, casual Saturday afternoon or casual Sunday or something. Um, I'm sure we'll think of something. But um, casual Friday this week, not good. Probably might not. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't happen on Friday. But we'll see. Yeah. We'll see, mate. Um, anyway. Wait, yeah. we've, we've got some talking to do, mate. So shall we just crack on or what? Yeah, let's do yeah. it. Um, before we get into things, there's a few bits and pieces that I, um, I want to get into. Scores on the doors. I oh, we playing Mario Kart this week as well. With, with, uh, with Mary, by the way. Um, Dan. Yeah. Kingdoms of Ambala Re 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 Reckoning is out today. Uh, did you play the, the original game? Did you, did you have any... I no, I, I I think I vaguely remember this being Bish's sort Bish's of game. Bish's yeah, it? definitely. Yeah, it's yeah, one of them games with me. I was like, I'm well into that. It was Todd uh, Todd McFarlane, the the art director, who, uh, the, the guy who created Spawn, who's he like, yeah. created all this lore and all the, all this sh shit. And I'm, I'm, yeah. like, I'm like, do you know what? I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm in it. I'm in. I never bought it. And I'm part of the problem. The reason why this game never became like a phenomenon. Because I'm just like, yeah, sound, and I never touched it. But uh, the reviews are in, mate. Uh, it's sitting at 75 on the old Metacritic, so, which is a good. decent score, mate. It's got it's got a six mix and 11 positive. Uh, IGN give it a six. Uh, we reckon it's a reminder of what made the original great in 2012. But most testaments how far we've come since. It's basically, saying it hasn't aged well. Um, but digital downloaded is like rather struggling with its limitations. Blah blah blah. It, it, reminiscent of a single player MMO it says here I'm, I'm summarising that for you don't you worry your little word mate um, <laughs> so yes there's definitely that to look out for today if you're itching for that, uh, that fantasy or slash high fantasy kind of thing um, Dan yeah. are you in or are you waiting for a sale or are you just not going to bother I'm not going to bother not going to bother <laughs> you've, you've got far too much mate I've got such a I know this is this is Jam's cup of tea. I'm I'm, I'm sure, but um, but uh, no, I'm going to play it. I'm not sure if I'm going to rush off after this and go and play it and go, go and download it. But I'm definitely going to play it, mate. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it sounds like the sort of game that will come to Game Pass. To good shout, THQ. To be fair, yeah, Dark Siders is THQ, and that's on Game Pass. So maybe in a few months, maybe we'll have it. On yeah, Game Pass. yeah. yeah. I would Who wait. knows? Um, but yeah, there's that. Uh, Daniel. 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 Another one has happened. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Uh, another anime series based on a video game. This one, to me, 
makes a bit of sense, but I've only played the second in the series, so you'll have to bail me. Um, Daniel. Yep. Shemu anime announced as Crunchyroll and Adult Swim production. Um, I have a question. Yep. Uh, this comes from Crunchyroll.com, straight from the horse's mouth. Uh, are you a Shemu guy? I am, actually. I liked, um, I played one and two. I've not played three yet, but I have played the played previous three. twos. I played the second one, which I quite mm. liked in 2004, three. What, what console? Dreamcast. Yeah, good lad. Quite yeah, liked it in 2003, um, even though it took fucking ages to uh, get, get on. But um, that uh, the pachinko wooden thing that was quite cool and get a job and moving, um, getting on the forklift and all that shit. Pretty good, mate. Um, oh, it's very much um, it's a game that spawned Yakuza. Very, very, very much so actually. I can see. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's a uh, Shemu DNA all over yeah, yeah, Yakuza. Uh, which one? Y- Yakuza's PS2 one. Is, would that have come first, or was that about the same time? Or uh, Yakuza. I think it came out just after right. Shemu. I think. Just stop you there. Oh. I'll buzz off the uh, the pronunciation there, mate. Yakuza. Yeah, mate. Got to be proud of you, mate. Uh, but the uh, <laughs> 2005, so Shenmue was a bit earlier, I think. I think Shenmue yeah. was early 2000, wasn't it? Let me have one. Yeah, 2001-ish. Right. First one was 99, second one was 2001, so mm. well done. And we waited fucking a million years for a sequel, which mm-hmm. apparently is definitely a Shenmue game, but um, like it, I said, it's, I'm, it bombed pretty badly, I think. In yeah, I mean, respect. it seemed to come and go. Um, but this makes a bit of sense, I think. Right, it's got that, cut, that that sort of je ne sais quoi. Uh, when, when I'm playing that game, I'm like, yeah, I totally see it happening. I'd, I'd like, I'd, I'd watch it definitely. It yeah. Would, uh, it, it's got all the recipes of being something good, so mm-hmm, it's a fir- just, uh, um, you just can't like. I don't think you can mess it up really because um, it like, is you what it is, isn't it? The, yeah, yeah it, the, it there's not it's you basically it's a life sim almost. It's like a pizza. Just, it's hard to fuck up a pizza, mate. Yeah, way. exactly. Uh, but th- yeah, uh, thirteen episode series uh, directed by. There we go, Shikara Sakurai, who's famous for One Punch Man season two and Maji Moji Rurumo. Sorry. <laughs> <for the foundation. laughs> He's watching this show. Um, and Yu Suzuki is on board, uh, which is the creator of Shenmue. He's the he's on board, so I like it when the creators are on board. It's when they shoot them off and they're like. Mm. I don't yeah, know. Exactly. But uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. And uh, last non game related um, bit of uh, info, which one for me really, because I'm quite excited uh, that we are getting a Dune trailer tomorrow. Um, Daniel. Yeah. Are you excited for this movie? Are you. I haven't even seen anything about it. Mate, so I, I, the only thing I've seen there is fucking. Uh, I forgot his name. I'm that was his name. Star Wars. Wars. What's his name? Is in Star Wars. It's not Mark Hamill, is it? No, it's the it's the it's the good looking guy. Um, uh, oh. Poe Dameron. Yeah. Um, I've forgotten his actor name. What's no. his name? Hang on. Uh, Oscar Isaac. Oscar Isaac. Yeah, he's a, he's sick, mate. Um. Yeah, the, the only thing I know about this movie is that it's uh, it's it, it is a remake, isn't it? Of Cheers Jam. Thanks for that. You, uh, you'd be um, great on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire after they've answered the question, mate. Cheers. Nice one. Um, the only thing I know about this movie is that it is based. Is it? Is a. Is it a remake of the old one, or is it a new one, or what? I don't even know that. I just saw it. I, yeah. I saw who directed it. Dennis Villain. Why do people have things They've like got, that? Um, I'll give them their due. They have got quite a good cast. Yeah. Um, what? I mean, looking at Oscar Isaac. Josh Brolin's in it, so I'm, I mean, naturally. Rebecca You've Ferguson, got, who's a singer, Dave right? Batista, uh, Zendaya. Oh, no, sorry, yeah. um, you've got. Zendaya's um, in it. I'm in. All right, that's all you need. I'm in. Jason Momoa is no. even in there. Zendaya, mate. Hmm? Javier Bardem as well. Who should have played yeah. Roland Duchenne in uh, Gun in um, Dark Tower? But that's a conversation 
for another time, good sir. Um, yeah, so I'm saying it, it is based on Doom by Frank Herbert, which is the film. No, the novel is based on. It must be like a. It is based on the novel by Frank Herbert. And Dennis Villan. Why do people have names I can't pronounce? This is annoying. Villanova. Villanova. V v Dennis, the guy that did the guy that. Um, I was just following a popular opinion. Yeah. People don't like this one, so I'm gonna save it for later. But remind me on, I'll write it down now. Um, but yeah, a good director's on it, and I'm like, okay, man, that's, that's all you needed to tell me. It's this new film, like, I'm in. All right, that's all you need. Buzzing. But yeah, sound. Daniel, mm -hmm. shall we get on to the good stuff, good sir? Let's talk about some games. Yeah. Let me just write this proper, proper opinion down before I forget, sorry. Right, sound. Right, let's do it. Um, right, nonsense out of the way. What have we got today, Daniel? Well, well, uh, we've got a microscopic bit of news for you, which nobody actually cares about. Uh, I think Jam's interested, but uh, it's just a quick update on the new Call of Duty front. That um, the official Twitter account is uh, says there is um, an insight, uh, the multiplayer reveal for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, which is a video game title which has about, which should have about 40 colons in it. Um, you know, uh, I, just, uh, I love how it, the tweet basically says experience the next generation of Black Ops multiplayer. Why not just say experience the next, 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 next generation? Because that's how many games it has been. Exactly. How many times have they used that tweet? Exactly. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is revealed tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific time, which is about five or six ish our time. Ask me if I Maybe can. Maybe four. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, mate. Um, but uh, Dan. I have a question. Yeah. Do you care? No. I don't care. Um, I mean, it's cool. We'll watch. I mean, we've got the Ubisoft forwards. I'm not sure how much time we'll have to actually talk about this this shite on um, on Thursday, but we'll have a mooch. We'll, we'll, we'll um, I'm sure we'll have something to say about it. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. But yeah, check that out tomorrow um, or yesterday or today if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, anyway, Daniel, mm -hmm. that's something I do care about. Here we go. Here we go. Let's lick our lips, mate. Um, Hong Kong's largest game publisher slash distributor has listed Ninja Gaiden Trilogy for PS4 and Nintendo Switch, which includes Ninja Gaiden uh, 2 and uh, Razor's Edge, which is the 3D ones, I think. Um, and they'll be released March 2021. Now, Daniel. Yes. Are you a Ninja Gaiden guy? I am. I am um, do you does this excite you to play these games again or would you want a new one or um i mean i think a new one would probably just disappear behind everything else a little bit because it's one of those games that like you have to know it's there to actually play it if you know what i mean Definitely. like we we get we get excited for games like this because i'm buzzing off it mate. i'm nerds, all over it um, but people that don't know about it will play it. So, uh -huh. um, like, I think it'll be pretty damn good. Um, I'm in. I'm, I'm, I'm in. Yeah, I'm uh, hopefully, it's real. Um, it is a Reddit post. Uh, I'm not sure wh what the name of the Hong Kong largest game publisher is. The name eludes me as well. Um, I'm sure I've heard of them. I'm sure everyone's heard it's of not, them. It's not going to be like ten cent, no. is it? No, 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 <laughs> not them. But it'd be. We've been a distributor. I'm, I'm unsure if it's going to be a shop or I'm not sure who it is, but we'll keep an eye on this one because I, I'd be all over that. The, the first two, especially, are really good games. Um, but I mean, we're talking hmm. classic ones here, aren't we? Are we talking like the old old Ninja Gaiden? Are we talking three D like... ones? So it would be Sigma, Sigma Two, and Black, and uh, not Black. Yeah. Um, well, there was Black. Yeah, uh, I don't think Black's part of. Ninja Gaiden Black's fucking mint, by the way. Oh, yeah, that's... Like, the, the first game that jumps into my head about Ninja Gaiden is Black. Yeah, and, black there's, a, yeah, and there's also that talk of um, Ryo Hayabusa going to Smash Brothers, but we'll talk of... Mate, we're not going to that rabbit hole today. Not today. We've got some... We've, we've got a lot to doing talk that about. Today, mate. Um, anyway, Daniel, another one. It's very... It makes me very happy to see... Um, uh, Streets of Rage 4 has been downloaded more than 1.5 million times according to publisher and co-developer Dotemu or Dotmu, however you say that. Um, Daniel. 
Yes. Did you play Streets of Rage 4? No, I haven't got around to it. It's pretty yet. good. Um, I'd, I'm pretty sure that doesn't mean sales because of Game Pass and all that shit. But I'm very happy it's done over a million. Um, it's a very good game. Very, re It's like... It's reminiscent of the past, but also has a sort of modern flair to, to, to the genre. So I'm, I'm very happy it's done so well. And hopefully we see Street Fighter 5 or maybe Double Dragon come back in this fashion or Golden Axe. We can pray, mate. We can pray. Yeah. Um, yeah. Give us some Shinobi. Shinobi for fucking mate. Oh. The last Shinobi they did was on PS2. I, love, I think that game's mint. The one on PS2? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Great game. Yeah, with the fucking scarf and you're it's like put your sword back and he'll Yeah, mate, I'm in. Um <laughs> but would I take a Shinobi be in the style of Street Rage 4? You're fucking damn right I will, mate. Do you know what I'm saying? You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, of course. You know, mate, right. Go buy Street Rage uh, 4 if you haven't. Um friend of mine has got the limited edition. Um, limited run fucking Genesis case thing and he was like do you anyone who wants to buy this? I was like me obviously he wants, he wants 100 notes for it though and I'm like oh. <laughs> oh, mate my my, uh, my friend has like literally every edition of it like Switch PS4 um, uh, I don't think she owns Xbox so she can't play it on that but she's got like the limited edition the standard edition the downloaded version of it She's my oh, kind of person, mate. She's my yeah. kind of person. Hey, you tell her. Good job. Yeah, I will do. <laughs> but enough about Street Rage 4, mate. So we've got some Crash Bandicoot news coming. Wonderbar. Wonderbar indeed, mate. Daniel. Yes. It's due out October the 2nd, right? Yeah. Yeah, October the 2nd. Daniel, if I told you there was a new playable character in it, would you be buzzing? Yeah, of course always. Would, mate. Um, I'm going to apologise to the Crash Bandicoot mega fans out there because i got to be honest with you, before today I had no idea who this character was. And apparently she's a big deal in the Crash Bandicoot lore, I think. From what I'm reading in the comments and all the tweets and all the twiddles and all the world, mate. Um, yeah, Torna is going to be playable in this game, Dan. Dan, what about? do you know who Torna is, mate? Is this person uh, here? I'll be honest, I don't I have really no idea who it is, it. mate. I've played all the Crash Bandicoots and I've never really all seen of them. Ever. Never enough. Like even, they... even the rubbish one? Uh, quote, not quote, the rubbish, rubbish one, one. sorry. We're, to we're talking like the 1, 2, 3, and I played the first PS2 one, um, which was... Rafa, Rafa Cortex, right? Uh, yes. That is that one. right, yeah? I'm, I'm not saying the swear word. <laughs> I know what you're saying, it wasn't really good. Mm -hmm. I know what you're saying, but yeah, but this, uh, there's a quite a nice trailer here. Um, it's 15 minutes long, so I'm just going to scrub through this a bit. Uh, if you want to watch it, go on, just type it in, you'll find it. Um, but yeah, I mean, looks pretty fresh. I mean, she looks interesting. Nice yeah. move set, mate. Um, but, Dan, I've got to go. Are you day one in Crash 4? <sighs> I'm not a day one from many things, and I don't think this will be a day one off, but um, I will expect to end up getting a hold of it at some point. At some point, yeah. Well, yeah. No, I think I'm, I'm day one ish, mate. Um, depends what else is out on October time, but go day one ish. Um, this looks pretty clean. It does. I'm like him. Yeah, this is like 15 minutes long, so I'm not going to bore you with 15 minutes of gameplay while we sit here analysing every frame, but. Yeah. Um, Daniel. Yeah. Crash is back, mate. What year is it? Do I uh, care? Give me Crash Bandicoot. I don't care. None of us care. I could be. I could be fifty and then a Crash yeah. Bandicoot like this would and, come out. And still play. Yeah, definitely. Um, and that um, is also a pre-order bonus, Daniel. If you pre-order the game digitally, which Jam is just. Coward into, his, coward into his pint of beer or whatever he's fucking drinking. Um, if, if you pre-order the game digitally, you get access to the Crash 4 demo, which is available September the 16th, mate. Which is eight, eight days, a week tomorrow. A week tomorrow. Um, will that tempt you to go early, or are you... Nah. No? Nah. I mean, I'm not. I mean, I'll, I'll just play it when I play it. I haven't got time for, for this demo. Yeah. Even though I am, I do want to play it. Do you know what I mean? I want to play the full game. 
but I want to try it out. As well. mm. Mm. I know what y'all talking about, Jam. I, like Squadrons is great, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Crash Bandicoot over Squadrons any day, mate. Deal with it, Jam. Daniel. Yeah. Daniel. Yeah. Moving on. Uh, here he is. Um, we have some more information about Kenner uh, Bridge of Spirits. Now, do you remember this game? during the PlayStation Showcase. I do, and I remember talking about it last week, yeah, we did. I think. We did talk about it last week, because we said it was going to be on the Game Informer front cover, and it's here. And there's more information about it, mate. Are you ready? Game Informer, uh, at, by Jeff Kark, uh, who's an editor or some shit. He's a legend, anyway. Uh, but yeah, what does the PS5 bring to Kenner Bridge of Spirits? Basically, a big-ass article, but our friend on Twitter... Big Nibel, my Nibelian. As, Here um, he is. As bloody, uh, summarize like it all for us. I'm just going to read you a few of these bullet points, mate. I'm just going to. I'm going to. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to go in, mate. Um, that takes two seconds to launch from the PS5 OS. Two seconds. But SSD's mint, mate. I don't care what anyone says. We'll fucking suck my dude. More lush and dense environments are over 100 rot, uh, tiny slash tiny creatures, the little black things in the game. Uh, utilizes the dual sense with the bow, I, I assume it's got the dynamic feed, the, the feedback, that thing they keep going on about, whether it pull, wait, what's it called? Jam, what's it called? The, do you know what I'm saying? You don't know, do you? I don't. The fucking but where it feels heavier than it is because you're pulling on the bow. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Oh, the dual sense yes. thing. Um, thought a mode might come for later launch. The game structure is wide linear. Cost sixty dollars. Can be finished over a weekend. Uh, I mean, you had me at hello to be honest with this. This this was one of the most. This was one of the strongest games in that PlayStation showcase. Definitely. And uh, I'm not going to read all these quotes. With the triggers on the dual sense control have resistance on them, so we're utilizing that for the heavy attacks. Yeah, so the bow with the. I was right. Bollocks here. Uh, but yeah, check that out. Um, okay, I didn't see that earlier. Um, it's coming out on PS4 as well. And if you buy it on PS4, you get a free PS5 upgrade when you decide to upgrade this to the console next generation. Didn't cool. know it was coming out on PS4. Buzzing, mate. Bear that in mind, control. Yes, control. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> likes you. The prick. Daniel. Yes. Question. Nintendo Direct last week. No, the Mario Direct thing. We covered it on one. Thursday. Um, the big one, 3D All Stars, was announced. Did you do you, do you have any reminiscent memories of this? Uh, of course I do. Of course you do, mate. What? Uh, you're buzzing for it. I am. And day one yeah. for that. Yeah. Two weeks. The week Friday. Yeah, yeah. Week Friday. Day one. All fucking mate. I'm not even bothered. Um however. Question. Yeah. At the time of when we went live on the casual report last week, I it was like I, I just assumed that the physical release was gonna be limited. But that's not the case, Daniel. So is the digital The digital one's limited as well. I quite I have a question to you, mate. Yeah. My question is, what the fuck? Uh, yeah. You know what what the actual fuck? Do you know what I'm saying? I know, I know, I know why. Because it's going to sell more. I think on yeah. Amazon, um, you have to verify this fact somewhere. But on Amazon, I think it's the second best-selling game this year. I just not even out yet. So we're talking <laughs> selling more than Last of Us Two, more than fucking Final Fantasy VII Part One, more than. Is that is that at all surprising? Probably no. not. We're all world nerds for Mario. No, I'm, I'm in, mate. That's all you need. All you needed was it's coming out this day, mate. I would have gone, yep, bang. Uh, 16 oats, mate. Sort it out. Uh, but with it being a limited release, um, all the scalpers are in. And they're all already on eBay, mate. And they're not even sold out anyway yet, but it's already... That's fucking does me head in. Uh, it's already on eBay. This comes from Eurogamer. 200 notes there. 90 quid, 92 quid, um, this is always going to happen, these scalpers going to fuck themselves, they're oh, ruining it, 
I mean, I don't know, man. It just it leaves a sour taste in my mouth, good sir. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I I, I don't understand because you can still pre-order it. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I can go to <laughs> Nintendo store right now. Well, I can't because I've already pre-ordered it and I think it's one per person. But I you can go on it now and put it down for 50 notes and they're there on eBay for 90. I'm like, what are you doing? And go, yeah, I just... mean, people will fall for it, unfortunately. That's just the reality of the situation. But um, it annoys me, mate. It does. It annoys Always. me. But anyway... Go fuck yourself if you're selling it on eBay for 200 quid. Bot me on Twitter. I don't want you. Fuck off. But anyway, moving on. Keeping with Nintendo, mate. Yeah. You know, it's a game today. Mm. Asked me, I come out of yes. work and I was like, what the fuck's this? Why has this gotten out today randomly in some fucking. Daniel. It's a bit of a weird one, isn't it? Mm hmm. Daniel. Yeah. Daniel. Yeah. Daniel. Hyrule Warriors is getting a sequel. Of all the games. Of all the games that, in all uh, the world ever. Hyrule Warriors is getting a sequel. It's Which, a very, very interesting uh, announcement. Mm hmm. And why announce it now? It's. Like straight after, I know it was Mario based, but after a direct. Yeah, and there's rumours of a general direct soon, but um, I mean, when is that going to drop? If it is going to drop, if it is still going to be possible to do in 2020 with the with the pandemic going on and all that shit. But I mean, it looks. I mean, Revali is it? If I can play as Revali, I'm in. Which you can because I've seen it, but I'm in. I'm not in, to be fair, because uh, the the Musa games don't do it for me. But um, there's just something about it. It just seems brain dead. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You play Dynasty Warriors or anything like that? Um, I played the um, um the ones on PS2, the Dynasty yeah. Warrior games. Did you like them? Uh, um, I'm a bit iffy with it. I preferred um, a similar game. Uh, you might remember it actually, Drakengard. Oh mate, fuck yeah. it. Very, very, very much. We'll talk about no, no, game. no. Let's we'll talk about <laughs> Drakengard for a minute, mate, because okay. I'll tell you a story about Drakengard. Okay. Um, one of my favourite games of all ever, all ever, all time, I'll say. You might have heard of it. I go on about it if, uh, here and now, now and then. It's a, a game from 2017. Oh, and, near Automata. Uh, and it came from. It, it spawned from Drakengard, yeah, didn't it? Yeah, Nia is a. Uh, one of the endings is a spin off of Drakengard. Yeah. So I have a soft part for Drakengard. And mm. I will take um, Yoko Taro if you're watching. Um, I know the studio's default now, but Square Enix if you're watching. We'll take a Dragon Guard remastered, lads. That's what we would take. definitely. All three of them in a pack, and then you can tell me that um, what's it called? Babylon's Fall is in the same universe. It is. So, some do. Um, <laughs> but that, oh, that's a good one for. Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, this game. Why the fuck? Why? I mean, I get it because I imagine. I imagine Hyrule Warriors Soul Ball on the Switch. Um, and then and they're just like right, we got get this out because you know what I mean. Sixty notes, by the way. Yeah. Uh, here it is. Uh, Hyrule Warriors: Age of Calamity. Uh, it's coming out. Uh, Eleven? No, it's not. I was going to say twentieth of November, which is the November release, obviously. So we've got Mario this month, Pikmin in October, um, Hyrule Warriors: Age of Calamity in. November. Uh, and here's the site. Look at this. Pre order it today. Uh, set 100 years before Breath of the Wild. Um, Link looking fresh in the armor, mate. I've got to be honest with you. Some of this artwork's sick, by the way, but um, I don't think I'm going to buy it. Even though I don't want to. Not for the first one. The first fair. one was just. Did you play Fire Emblem Warriors? Um, I didn't. No. That game's fucking arse, mate. I've got to be honest with you. 
As <sighs> no. No. Absolutely not. But... Do you know what I mean? We're in. We're in. Yeah, um, hopefully, we can get back on track um, soon with the success of the pandemic going on, like we said. However, Daniel, going back yeah. to PlayStation now. Yeah. Um, they've got a thing going this week uh, where they're getting spotlight on PSVR games. And one, one game in particular caught my eye good sir and that was uh minecraft is coming to psvr no mm -hmm. daniel do you have a psvr jam you've no. got one um you, 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 uh, are you not into minecraft i love minecraft so which should be if you got a vr headset you haven't have you no no um that's just just a heads up like this looks cool especially all this kind of that, that, like the ui and and uh, with the VR headset so it follows you around um, when's it out I read it earlier Thank you, good Paul. question good question Very. Uh, and we're doing it very soon this month it is out this month uh, it's tw I want to say the 24th but I'm, I'm probably pulling that out of my ass to be honest with you um, but just check it out I mean I'm, I'm sure even for Minecraft fans it, it's going to be great um, jam be quiet. Daniel. Yeah. Speaking of VR, I have a question. Mm -hmm. What is the one thing that would tempt you in a purchase of a VR headset? <sighs> um, to be honest, I'm not fully behind VR yet. So it would take quite a lot for me to get behind it. Um, I mean, I'm just trying to think. It'd have to be something like really out of the blue, like, and Jam, Jam would hate this, but it'd have to be something like Guitar Room Man or in VR or something. Cause that'd be just psychedelic yeah. and crazy and sick. Um, but <laughs> it'd take a lot for me to go on to VR mm -hmm. right now anyway yeah. at this current stage I mean, give it a few years maybe yeah. but as it stands at the moment no like, they, they nearly had me with Alex um, but I can't fit a VR um, rift thing here because I've got no yeah. room but um, they nearly had me with that and um, but I'm, I'm in the same but I need a colour app I think VR is going to work in different ways. I think it's going to become more successful outside of gaming. I can imagine going to like a ACDC concert where you sat in the front row and you've got the VR headset on and you've got Angus Young chilling, mate. Or like a concert or like a football game where you, where you put the headset on and the, and the camera sort of goes around the pitch and things like that. Um, I think that's the future of VR. I, don't, I mean, not that games are going to be rubbish in VR or, you know what I mean, but. I think when VR spreads its wings outside in gaming, I think that's when we'll see it. Up, you know what I mean? It's quite a lot of the stuff looks a bit, even now looks a bit Yankee. I, don't, I mean that with the greatest of respect because I'm sure it's a bastard to, to develop for. But it's, yeah. do you know what I mean? With, with the weird, the hands when they sort of. Like this, yeah, the, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, but, there's, there's certain games which have got it down pretty mm -hmm. well. Like, Resident Evil uh, 7's best VR game. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah, Super Hot does Super all right. Super Hot. I've not played that in VR. I've not played that yet, actually. I've got it somewhere. Yeah. I don't know where it is though. Whether it's in Epic or on Steam or on the Xbox or on PlayStation, I can't remember where it is. But yeah. I've got it somewhere. Um, but Daniel. Yeah. Without VR. Yeah. Um, the game which I fucking buzz off, and I know you fucking buzz off, mate. <laughs> um, is confirmed for next generation, mate. Buzzing. Free of charge as well. Control five or five games. Suck it. Um, which free wild hunt coming to the next generation? Uh, work on next generation edition of which free wild hunt? This comes from the Witcher website. So straight from the horse's mouth. Developed to take advantage of the most powerful gaming hardware. The next gen edition of the game will feature a range of visual improvements. Blah blah blah. Yada yada yada. Um, and it'll be standalone purchase for PC, Xbox Series X, and PS5. And will also be a free upgrade. 
for PC and Xbox One and PS4 owners now, Daniel. Yep. Are you going to play Witcher 3 again when it comes out on PS5? Um, obviously when I've got the console, I've, I'm already on uh, Witcher 3 um, at the moment because I'm finishing the uh, Blue and Wine expansion, the awesome. final expansion. Mm-hmm. So um, I'm, I must admit, I'm quite happy that they're doing it for free for Not newer consoles. Pizza. Yeah, I've got, I've obviously got it on PS4, so it have got down yeah. pretty well Question for a lot of us. Yeah. Right. I have a question. I platinum this game. I don't platinum many games because I can't be asked to get up choose trophies just to earn full kit head out. I'd rather play stuff I like instead of finding the thousand fucking whatever's in the any orifice in the whole fucking game. I'm not I'm not about that kind of shit, mate. Yeah. I'll choose pain in the ass trophies and like, yeah, I'm not gonna bother. Um but for some reason I've I I've platinum four games. It's Rocket League because of the amount of time I played it and it's just by extension got the platinum uh, which of three near and John what's Miller plat- platinum I've got four platinums and I can't remember okay. the other one it doesn't matter um, but I'm wondering if with the P- if it gives you the like the PS like the next gen upgrade would it then give you that trophy list for that game as well then you can get the platinum again if you wanted to waste your time that's a good question they haven't really uh, no, it doesn't say that, here on, on this right up and um you know it, i mean it, it's free upgrade so whatever i'll probably play it anyway plus on pc as well um not like my pc might won't be able to run that um upgraded version but we'll see we'll see it's still going only three years old maybe three and a half four years old yeah um still pretty decent to be fair but um yeah, I'm curious as to if that trophy list is going to pop again. But That'd even if it doesn't, cool. I'm all in. I'm in again, all day. Um, I'm very excited about your next article, though. Are you actually? I am. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Daniel. Yeah. As we mentioned earlier, um, about the Ubisoft Forward, which is happening on Thursday, which we yeah. will move our show around to coincide with it to watch it, so we don't have to wait a weekend to talk about it. Um, uh, it's uh, an article from VGC, who I cheese off all the time for the casual report. I've got to be honest with you. Uh, Tom Ivan writes A Prince of Persia remake announcement is planned for Ubisoft Forward journalist claims. Now, the journalist in question, and this is a how are we good, sir? Now, the the journalist in question is Jason Schreier, who, if he's saying it's happening, it's happening, basically. <laughs> like, there's no, no two ways about it. Um, it's just which one? Which mm-hmm. what are the, Every single source we've seen has come up with the um, the most recent one. Pic- pictures yeah, of I think they're just using those pictures. I'm not sh- I think it's just going to be... Because uh, okay. there was that Prince of Persia um, tech demo thing, uh, which was... Do we watched that. Do you remember? Or was Bishop here? Uh, I wasn't here when uh, when it. We did watch something. It was um, Bishop, I think. Yeah. Um, and they were like, <sighs> Jam. When was that? If you're there. But yeah, it was like. Oh, let me see. If it's still there. If it's still not there, we're fucked. But let me have a look. But yeah, it was like a. Uh, like an early build, like a like an alpha build of like a Prince of Persia game, which looks quite cool. But I don't. It obviously never saw the light of day. Maybe it's gonna. Yeah. Be, um, I think it's just gonna be a fresh. A fresh Prince of Persia. <laughs> I'd love that. Like, if um, if they made a surprise announcement of giving us a new Prince of Persia game, but then also doing a remaster of the old ones, that'd yeah. be just. You're buzzing, mate. Here it sounds is. a time we'd Found be all it. over it. Now, something like this, obviously it needs to be more polished because I think this is quite old now and I'm not sure what it's running on, but something like that would be cool. It's just going to be a... Daniel. Yeah. Daniel. It, we're under the... We're in the same boat, but we reckon it's going to be... Um... 3D one, right? It's not going to be a 2D size world up one, is it? Yeah, I'd, I'd say it would be 3D unless they really like 
hellbent on doing the 2D mm-hmm. remaster or something, but the, the, the 2D remasters never turn out that great, to be honest. Dude. What? Dude. What? Dude. What are we talking? What? I was going to have to offend them, but I'm trying I'm, I'm... To be fair, I played the uh, I played the original, like the actual original. Yeah. Um, didn't mind it. Wasn't um, the worst game ever. Not Sands of Time, though, is it, mate? Oh, no, Sands of Time in. was definitely. You see, I wasn't overly, um, I wasn't overly uh, sold on Warrior Within. It was always Sands of Time. Sands of Time's better. Um, yeah. and especially the third one, and that's it. And that and was it called the Dark Two Thrones? Is it no? Two Kingdoms. Two Two something, isn't it? Yeah, something like that. Um, two thrones, I think. I maybe possibly, yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, Jason Schreier is the guy. And so, PSP one was shit. Uh, and obviously, Gods of Monsters has changed its name allegedly to Immortals: Phoenix Rising, which looks PS two as as fuck, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Cosmo Monsters is a better name. Um, the game's still probably going to be the same quality, whether it's going to be shit or good or whatever, but who knows. But Is that a game that interests you, Dan? The God of, Gods of Monsters? Uh, yeah, not a day one, but uh, yeah, maybe. As I say, I like, it'll be one of those games I'll probably play on Game Pass or something like that. I mean, if it goes to Game Pass, Ubisoft yeah. can be a bit... You know, but we'll Sticky. see. We'll see, mate. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm Greek mythology. Jam will tell you, I'm in. That's like, day one. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, if, but we'll see, mate. We'll see. Uh, a last story before we get to the big one. Are you ready, Daniel? <laughs> big, big news. Big news. Um, the 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 big story today has ruined this a bit, but. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dirt 5 has been delayed, Daniel. Uh, See, I'm actually saddened. Yeah. I actually love Dirt, Dirt. 5's, Dirt 5's a good game, man. The recent Dirt 5 for Xbox One, PS4, and PC is now moved to November 6, 2020, with early access for Amplified Edition players starting on November 3rd. Uh, set to launch on Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 later this year, followed by Google Stadia in early 2021. Basically, they're moving it so it's closer to the release date of the new consoles, is the gist I get from that statement. I'm not going to read it all because I'm not going to bore you. But, Daniel, yes. I'll, I'll look at that as well. Don't forget, anyone who owns Dirt 5 and current gen consoles will, will be still be entitled to relevant next gen optimized versions. Uh, <laughs> control, <laughs> do one. So, my question Everybody to you, Daniel, 505. <laughs> is how, yeah, is uh, how close to um, November the 6th is the next generation consoles release? Well, they're basically saying that. Um... So looking at reports that November 6th is probably when the Series X is coming out. Uh, Question. Yeah. Shoehorn in. I'll save it. Carry on. And the PlayStation's sort of marketing videos are all set for sort of like the 12th onwards. So it could be a week either way. I, to be fair, I actually was expecting the Xbox maybe to be the, the latter one. So uh, mm-hmm. coming in like twentieth or something like that, but yeah, it's it's hard to say really. Yeah. We're not far off now, though, are we? <laughs> yeah, I think they'll both release in November, but the boat will be two weeks. Up. They'll be at least a week apart. But I think two weeks apart. But then again, if you do that, it can't. You can't miss Call of Duty. You see, if you do that, mm, which the Call of Duty is the third. Is that the thirteenth Call of Duty? Something like that. Yeah. Um, I'm good, thanks, Ennis. How are you? Ennis, we're living the dream, mate. Um, it's not helping me. Where's the? L- I think Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War is releasing on the 13th. Now, if you if the Xbox does release, one of them's going to release on the 6th. I'm pretty 13th. I've got, it, got the date here. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War is the 13th. If one of them does release on the 6th, then you've got to go two weeks after, which is the 20th, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you go on the twentieth, you miss Call of Duty. <laughs> then there's your uh, there's and one you can't, of your yeah. there's your seller. Missing Call of Duty is probably suicide at this point mm-hmm. because we can't be missing Call of Duty. Do you know what I'm so saying? I I would I would go and say that um, you're looking the sixth onwards for the Xbox, and I'm thinking 
12 for the PlayStation. There is a 0% chance of release on the same day. No, they zero. Ah. Uh, uh, it just won't happen. But uh, cause obviously, one brand wants to beat the other. It's as simple mm-hmm. as that. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm thinking if if they are releasing after Call of Duty, I'm, I'm wondering if they'll pull the plug and just release before, so in October. Yeah. But then again, that might be then you might go too early and you might have a lot of problems, a lot of Red Ring of Death and things like that. Might um, do you know what I mean? Rear, rear, rear their ugly heads. Um, but Daniel, mm-hmm. enough about Dirt Five. Enough about Prince of Persia remake. Enough about Hyrule news. Warriors. Let's get to the big boys stuff, mate. Um, I woke up this morning, Daniel. Yep. To one of the best tweets I've ever seen from a corporate Twitter account, and it was simply. Let me just find it for you all now. It was the fucking. Do that meme, but that of that fucking puppet. And it was just the eyes are like. <laughs> I'll show it you. I'll show it you. I've just found an absolutely amazing one for I'm just uploading it to memes our dreams actually because it's actually really funny. <laughs> Where are we now? This is the tweet I woke up to, yeah, from the official Xbox Twitter account was this tweet. And it is just that that meme with that monkey stuffed monkey with its eyes and it's like mm. and then everyone's talking about the Series S, Daniel. Yes. And I'm like, why are we talking about the Series S? Because we've been talking about the Series S for a few, pretty much since this show started. Mm-hmm. I remember talking to, to Bishop about it. Um, I didn't even look at me old Google eye going, what the fuck are you on about? And I had to, mm-hmm. you know, I had to you know, say, oh, the Lockhart, which by the way is confirmed, code name of, of the Series S, by the way. Um, and I'm like, what, what's going on? And this trailer leaked, Daniel. I'm just going to show you that it's been announced now, so I'm just going to show you the official trailer uh, through, through the Twitter. Uh, give me a second. There we go. Xbox Series S, all digital next gen console, faster load times, higher frame rates, richer, more dynamic worlds, next generation gaming performance, and our smallest Xbox ever. Now it's 60% smaller than the Xbox Series X. Yes. Um, and yet still looks exactly like an Xbox. Oh, it looks what? like it looks like a look at that. The video is pretty good. But... Yeah, it's a pretty cool video. I can turn the song off because it's too mad. But but I just can't believe that they've uh, they've essentially made us wait for a console that is a Xbox One S with a black fan grill. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I mean, I I thought this was just going to be a stream machine, but at the same time, it's like. It's pretty some pretty powerful things. It's pretty powerful. Um, you know, under the hood, it's quite. It's more powerful than I thought it was going to be. Do you the know one what I mean? thing, yeah. The one thing I'm surprised about is that um, it's marketed as not being as powerful as an Xbox One X. What? Uh, oh right, okay. So it's still least, um, a little less powerful than the One X. But does that mean the One X is still gonna um, still gonna be around for a little while longer? Oh. Maybe. The One X has been discontinued, hasn't it? Has it now? Oh. Hmm. Mm, bit weird that. Yeah, and I think they're trying to get the Series S, Series X going. Um, one thing, one other thing that shocked me, Daniel, about this: uh, the price is three hundred dollars. Then confirmed in the UK to be £249.99 of the Queen's English pence. It's dead cheap. Which, by the way, if you, I don't know, if you've got a lot of, if you've got a litter of kids, it's like, yeah, sorted, no worries. Um, uh, uh, The Series S will support direct X ray tracing, uh, run games natively at 1440p and up to 120 frames a second. It's also capable of running games upscaled 4K a la like the PS Pro does, PS4 Pro does. Um, I mean, I, I wasn't expecting this from there. I, like, we knew it was real. Um, th- what, what, what made me laugh is we basically said that one of them will come out with a prize with a backhanded tweet, and they have. Yeah, <laughs> it's a leaked tweet, like, fuck's sake, yeah, lads. 
Uh, so th there'll be uh, new information later. So you assume there's going to be another Xbox. What are they called? And what and we actually have a date. Do do we have a date? Yeah, it's on the trailer. Um, November tenth. Good check. For the Xbox Series F. Um, Series S. Where? Oh yeah. Um, it's right November at the end 10th, of the video. Yeah. Beg yeah, your pardon, yeah. I didn't watch that far. So we actually have a day. Yeah, there you go. November 10. Is that the leak trailer? The, the this one of the trailers the, is leaked. This one is the them. one from the actual Xbox yeah, um, um, account. It says Xbox, so an all digital console, all digital console with a uh, SSD that's less than the one that's got a disk drive. So whatever. Mm. But I'm sure you can buy it still on the hard drives for 40, 50 quid. Yeah, definitely. You'd be fine. You'd be fine. Uh, Don't worry. Um, Daniel. Yes. Question. Yeah. Would are you an Xbox one of man? These? Um, yeah, I would say. Um, yeah. You're tempted by the Xbox Series X. At or... that price, I'd definitely be interested. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I'll be honest. I'm not. Um, I'm not like you two. Um like physical games wise i don't really have that many i'm mm -hmm. more of a digital person mm -hmm. so this did catch my attention um especially at the price point so they've, they've literally steel. i'll be honest i don't think playstation will come near to that not on their digital but that old digital ps5 yeah, I, is i was expecting 399 for something like that or 349 so yeah with the old digital um ps5 i think it's the same as the PS5 core console, so I think that's the difference. Is I think this is a little bit less powerful, more power. I, I need to um, look at the the fucking underneath the hood and have a mooch there. Uh, the the thing is that um, that sort of like um, was kind of made me think why is um, is the whole frames per second thing. Great, 120 frames per second, but how many TVs can you buy? That support. You ain't, you ain't running 120 frames a second on a TV. I'll tell you that now. You can. You can. Yeah, no, but um, the average person isn't. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. So you, like, you'd got, have to physically go out and buy an OLED or a QLED or a like that. I've got like three TVs in this house. They're all 60 hertz. Yeah, so is mine. So one, of my, he, one of my monitors is 60 hertz and the other one's 144. But yeah. It's like, what are you doing? But um, it's nice to have the option, like I said. Yeah. Uh, more options is cool um like i said when we get more information of under the hood and we can analyze but i, I mean there might be i've just finished work and i'm just trying to have a mooch at everything that's come out this afternoon which has been a lot to be fair but um like i said to analyze that and i don't think the ps5 or digital editions like you say is going to come anywhere near 250 pounds i think, I think no. it's all in 350 at, at, at the cheapest I, I, that one. I would say 350 uh, yes. that, that's at the cheapest mate it could be 400 quid for that that's that i'll be honest that will be um the xbox's selling point mm -hmm. that will be where where most people are going to go because game pass simple game, as yeah. game pass 250 notes and i don't think they've confirmed it but um found a twitter i mean a second uh there was talk of a monthly um oh um xbox all access yeah yeah where you can pay for it over uh like you pay it every single month like a phone contract then... yeah 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 and what did i, I say that. a few weeks ago that you they do something like that, that they might do something like that and the i can't funny... remember when it is the funniest thing is they already did do something like that um if you look on game there is um something called xbox all access um and you can actually get like a, yeah, yeah. a 1x through it and stuff yeah, yeah. like that so it sounds like they're going to do you want like that, um, really go through it do you want that uh as opposed to like the the one-off payment they want that constant 10 20 pound a month off you as opposed to the one-off mm -hmm. three four hundred and then 30 40 quid here and there they want that rolling contract i think yeah yeah and most companies do nowadays because that's mm. where the money is mm -hmm. that is where the money look at netflix uh, the netflix model mm -hmm. game pass they've got hulu you've got netflix you've got amazon prime um country roll help me out it's great so, having that it's great having the one-off payment but oh yeah having a million people pay 10 20 pound a day 
a, a month even or something like that. Yeah, you would, wouldn't you? Yeah, because I remember because people ask, where do they get the money from? Like, Game Pass has got like ten million subscribers at ten pound a month. Yeah, that's where the money is. Hundred million pound a month. Yeah. Right. I've that's had, your money. Have I had done that math right in my head? Ten million at ten ninety-nine. It might be one million at ten million at ten pound a month, but whatever. The money's there, is what I'm saying. And um, yeah, but Daniel. Yeah. Are you buzzing? I am. I really hope they do a shh at the next Xbox. What are they called? I forgot what they're called. It's actually 109 million. 109, 900. <laughs> Game Pass subscribers. Oh, yeah, Xbox so if, you, if you've got, um, if you've got 10 million subscribers <laughs> on Game Pass paying 10.99 a month, it's a hundred and nine million nine hundred. Yeah, Game Pass got ten million subscribers. So you're right. Yeah. So yeah. they're making. They are they're at, making. We that's assuming that's everyone's doing it. Um, yeah. Everyone's got a Game Pass ultimate. Some people have just got Game Pass PC like Jam. Some people have just got um, Game Pass, which is seven pound a month, right? Yeah. yeah. And then Game some Pass people ultimate. will. Some people will take the three months list yeah. as well. And mm -hmm. stuff yeah, like yeah. That. I think I pay. 11.99 which is game pass ultimate uh, game pass pc game pass and then xbox live gold which is 10.99 because that's what i pay 10.99 sorry yeah you're right um but i mean uh, it's heated up mate i'm, I'm waiting to see sony's turn now fold go in is it I, i'll i'll say it now um they won't compete with that they won't i i mean yes it will the thing is, the Xbox will do well because of Game Pass. Yeah, definitely. It's as simple as that. That's the whole model behind it. Um, the PlayStation will sell it itself on its games. Mm -hmm. We know that. Yeah. Right, but um, I think this this year this year could be a quite massive. a close console war it's this uh, this time around. I mean, yeah, Jam's like uh, yeah. I think as we've said price wise, I think. I can't. You can't compete. I can't and see it. Right. Being, I can't, can't see it. You cannot compete. I, I'm not right. saying that my Xbox is going to win. I'm just win. I'm saying. It's just. I mean, I can't see him getting. But uh, I said we should put, uh, put the digital one. It's like it's going to be hundred quid difference at least. It's got to be right. I'm. I. I would say three four nine. Yeah, you can't. It can't uh, be and the than specs, that. Uh, the specs yeah. that they're coming out with, although which obviously pissed us all off, not fully, fully 4K. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, obviously, I mean, but, yeah, uh, yeah, the, 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 uh, the PS4 Pro does that, but people don't really mind that. But um, but we also knew it was the weaker console. Yeah, it's, it's, was... it's not, not, yeah, not as, like I said. I, I, I will uh, over the next few days. I will find if we have the information side by side comparison, so we can see what the, the deal is and we can have a look at that on, on thursday or, or on next week if we if we have to with yeah. uh, ubisoft taking quite a lot of time up on thursday, thursday yeah. um but daniel yeah um now that it is real yeah uh good move by microsoft to do this yeah, very good yeah yeah, I, I think, I'll, uh, yeah i'll i'll give them a clap yeah, for yeah, that definitely. i think um uh, their strategy is that try and get i say try and get people in for as make, make cheap as possible or the um the purists if you will want to put the money in and get the best experience and they're also that they have an option as well people with mobile phones like yeah i just want to play whatever on my phone or oh, game pass yeah sound put a controller on it sit chilling or a tablet or whatever just put your tablet up yeah sound right whatever go on got a good internet i can do that um but i'm interested to see like when it's all out and when it's all working Oh, it's going to go down. Yeah. And I'm waiting for Sony's move, mate. You know what I'm saying? Well, um, there's uh, certain news coming out of Twitter, I think. Do we have of, breaking um, news? Um, I think I spied... Do we have breaking um, news? It's not... Br well, it will be breaking, if it's correct, but um, Game have come out and said that um, 
it will be very imminent when the PS4 announces its price, even possibly this week. PS5. PS5, sorry, yeah, PS5. <laughs> it will be, mate. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, saw... we could... Oh, we could sorry. actually have uh, we could actually have um, our prices I mean, this I week. I saw a deleted tweet from game, but I couldn't open it because obviously it was deleted. But let's have a look. See if we can find it. If you can send it me, I'd be fucking buzzing, right? Uh, game. And a picture of Ronaldo has come up. What's he doing? Doesn't matter about him. Here we go. Uh, I've found the article. If you can send it me. Put it in the chat or something. Uh, Put it up on the screen for for the people watching, mate. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, give me a sec. Let's do that now. I mean, I've heard rumblings that it's going to be this week until we see him. Um... Where have you put it? I'm just going to put it in the casual part now. Just give me a sec. I'm just... There you go. Good, mate. Yeah, it's from Guildford. Game Guildford. Yes, I've seen the right sound. Where are we? Trailer. Not wrong one, sorry. Uh, those waiting pre-orders and have re... Don't know what that means. What the fuck's going on here? I've got the wrong one. <laughs> uh, Game Guildford has tweeted customers who registered their interest in the new PlayStation 5 consoles should get their credit card ready and stand by for updates. <laughs> oh boy. This week, so you assume uh, this comes from the sixth, ac the sixth axis. Tough, tough club is here. Um, damn. Yeah. You know you. I think I've asked this before. Sorry, I've asked this before. Yeah. If you are able to pre-order this week, are you going to, or are you just going to chill for a bit? No, I'm going to chill. Chill. For uh, a bit. I'm not. I'm, I'm not rushing. I think me and Jam are chilling. Uh, not chilling. I think me and Jam are in. I'm all in. Um, but yeah, sound. Uh, get on that. Now, Daniel, that concludes yep. the news for this week. <laughs> Good sir. Okay. Um, what are we on now? Unpopular opinion. Daniel, do you have any? <laughs> um, unpopular opinion wise, I don't think I have anything. Um, I think. Um. um no, I haven't got out. Not today. Sound. Well, I've got four here. Which one do you want? Uh, I am definitely, definitely going with number four. Number four. I, guess I always annoy people this. So boomers get annoyed with me as well. Um, <laughs> I'm waiting for the crowd to go wild. The crowd's going to go wild, mate. Blade Runner 2049 is a better film than Blade Runner. And you can all suck my dick about that one. I agree with you. I love 2049. It's a very, very <laughs> good film. When it first announced, I was like, mm, and then fucking Harrison the Ford was in it. I was like, mate, come on, mate. Uh, but then like, the cinematography, the fucking shots in it are beautiful, right? It's got yeah. one of the best sex scenes I've ever seen. <laughs> Not that I'm a perv or anything, but like, it's the best, like, ever. Yeah. Um, Like the story and, I say story, like like the the, uh, the narrative. I've it's forgotten just... his name. Is it K or J? What's his name? Uh, K, I think. It's is it K, K in it? Yeah. Um, if, like, like, if, 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 like a quest to be great, and then it turns. I mean, spoiler alert! It turns out it's not really that great. Um, yeah. Music in it's fantastic. Um, the fucking shots, man. The fucking cinema. Oh, it, like it, it, like that. Obviously, had some inspiration towards Cyberpunk. Oh, for sure. No, like, it, yeah, it's, it's definitely so good. Uh, where are we now? Yeah, Ryan Gosling is K, Rick Decker, yeah, 100%. Even Jared character was pretty cool in it, so, you know what I mean? If you can make Jared Lotto cool, you can make anything, you know what I'm saying? I'm alright, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> to anyone yeah. in the chat who hasn't seen that film, you need to see it. It's so good. I mean, I'm not shitting on the first one, the first one's brilliant, but... No, the first film is great, but I definitely agree um, that 2049 was a better film. What Batista was one. I love Batista, it's funny as fuck. Um, <laughs> Daniel? Uh huh. I've forgotten gem. Here it is. Have Let's have a look. Do you know what it is? Have you, have you I'm it? just having a look at the link now. Having a mooch, mate. Oh uh, my god. Now we're going to take you back, Daniel. Buzzing. To a to a simpler time. <laughs> um, back back to the PS One, mate. Uh, it's a game I fucking adored. This series, to be fair. Um. Crystal Dynamics? Was it Crystal Dynamics? It originally did it. Give me a second. Oh my god, I 
I just remember playing this game. Crystal Dynamics, yeah, did this game. Um, it is of Amy Hennig fame, who is, of course, went on to do Uncharted and uh, all that shit. So, Amy Hennig's fucking mint, by the way. Um, she's that cancelled Star Wars game, I'll never get over. Because that looks like oh, uh, 20, 2077 or whatever. No, the. What was it called? The EA one. The, oh, she got it got canned. Um, where? Uh, have to find it now. <laughs> jam, jam, what's that game? Yeah, called? Jam, what's it called, oh, mate? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna know which one you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, Visceral were doing it. Um, there it is. It had like a name like Ragtag or something. Not that but one, you prick. <laughs> the Amy Hennig one. You uncultured rodent, mate. <laughs> um, it's, ra it's called Operation Ragtag, I think it was called. Um, and it was like an uncharted esque kind of thing, which is why I was annoyed. Not because Fallen Order was great and everything, but it hasn't come I think up with a name, but I think Amy I Hennig remember yeah, seeing Amy Hennig's Star Wars game would have been a better Fallen Order. And I mean that with the greatest of respect to Respawn. Do you know what I'm saying? It was still a great game. Oh, it's fucking mint, mate. Don't get me wrong. Fallen Order is fantastic, but... Uh, blah, 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 it closed down. Yeah, because EA closed the restaurant shop. EA closed the studio down. Oof. Imagine my surprise. Um, As they do. Yeah, uh, yeah. Codename Ragtag. Yeah, and it was going to be... I mean, a PC game article from a few years, uh, from last year. We're going quite off the mark here, though, a little bit. I'm still watching the, uh, Sorry. the video. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, but this article basically says everything about it. Um, it was Star Wars Uncharted, which is what everybody wanted, and then what everybody seemed to have got with Fallen Order, which was annoying. I'm not sure why. It, uh, I'm, I'm so annoyed by it. I'm annoyed. Um, but Amy Hennig's brilliant, um, especially on Uncharted game. She did. Give me a second. She directed Jack 3, Uncharted 1, 2, 3. No, she didn't. Creative director on Uncharted 1, 2, and 3, and uh, story consultant on Golden Abyss, and she wrote Battlefield Hardline. And she also was a designer and artist on Michael Jordan Chaos in the Windy City. And the Bard's Tale 4, which was cancelled, but she was an artist on that as well. But, um, she's fantastic. Uh, the game I'm obviously, if you haven't figured out by now, the game I'm talking about is, of course, Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver. Now, do you remember this game, Daniel? I do. I remember. Do you like this game, Daniel? Game. Bit of a vampire ish game. Look at this. Um, yeah. I forgot this box name. Sorry, for another look. Dan, what's his name? We're not doing very well with names, so that. Do my follow. Oh, names, are, names are all yeah. over. Yeah, a 3D action game, uh, vampires. Gameplay's pretty cool. What I wouldn't give for... I know we go on about remasters all the time on the show, but why I wouldn't give for a remaster of this fantastic <laughs> game. Um, it's very... I mean, I mean, if you were to play it out, it's on Steam. It keeps popping up in my... Um, oh, you wish right, your wishlist is on sale. 69p, and I keep staring at it going to bed that hasn't aged long. As it's as, one of those games that I don't think will have. No, as, as much as I love the game, and as much as, um, you know what I mean, uh, I don't think it would have aged well, and I would love for them to go back and just tidy it up, and, um, you know what I mean, make it, uh, uh, input some more quality of life features, because, I, again, forgotten gem, forgotten it, I haven't played it for years. I'm sure there were things in it that pissed me off. Um, that would piss me off now because we've come so far, exactly. Yeah. Um, <coughs> well, you've also just given me inspiration for my uh, next... Buzzing. Uh, yeah, next game. Buzzing. Hmm. But, yeah, definitely. Though, though, yeah, there's puzzles, there's action. It's basically Zelda-ish, but not really Zelda-ish. Vampires. Gothic <laughs> yeah, Zelda. Gothic, Gothic Zelda, yeah, with vampires. It's great. Um, story's decent. Because it's Amy Hennig, of course. Um, and if you haven't played this game, I was going to say, go and play it. Don't wait for him. Go and play it and just reminisce in a, t in a time gone by. Um, but yeah, that's Legacy of Kane, sorry. But it's on, you can play it anywhere. Is it everywhere? Let me have a look. Is it on Steam? 
Let me just mooch now. I mean, how many of uh, Legacy of Kane's the series? How many games are in the series? I've forgotten. Was it two? Yeah, I think it's Legacy of Kane and Soul Reaver. Legacy of Kane and Soul Reaver 2. There was. Give me a second. Let's have a look at Kane games. Legacy of Kane. Uh, just give me a list of the games, please. Soul Reaver is Nang Jam. Um... Games, here we go. So, it had Blood Omen Legacy of yeah, Kane. Yeah, that one's good. Um... Le Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver. Yeah. Soul Reaver 2. Yeah, Defiance as well was one of them. Blood Omens 2. Yeah. Legacy of Kane Defiance. That one's fucking mint. Um, and Nosgoth. Yep. And that's it. Yeah. I think so... I remember playing Nosgoth, you know. Oh, yeah. Go and play those games because they're fantastic. I think mean, most of them are on Steam. Um, let me see. Does this one on Steam? Give me a second. Tall Reaver. Uh, 999, by the way. 21 years old. It was a PS2 one. Uh, yeah, that was uh, Defiance, the PlayStation. On Dreamcast as well, by the way. And Blood Omen 2 was also on uh, PlayStation 2. Yeah, Jam. Shut up, Jam. Uh, but Raziel was the guy, was the character. Raziel. Uh, but yeah, definitely check that out if you haven't seen it already. Now, Daniel. Yep. Um, it is time. I've. We're gonna. Um, at least for the next few weeks we're gonna alternate between a music quiz and a quote quiz um at least for the next few weeks so, so we get so we get a bit of mileage out of the quotes and we start running uh, when the, uh, when i start quoting fucking random ps1 games that no one's ever played that's when i'll start that's when i'll stop but um <laughs> daniel are you ready i'm ready well, fine Always. jam if you can hear me you're more than welcome to join him uh anyone on youtube test themselves why not? If anyone else is in the chat, why not? Um, I'm just going to say the, the quote monotonously. And you're going to try and guess. Uh, if you can get, if you can give me the game, I'll give you a point. Uh, give me the series. I'll take the series. And if you can give me the series, you can take, give you a point. If you get a character who said it, I'll also give you another point. Are you ready? Okay. First quote. War has changed. It's no longer about nations, ideologies, or ethnicity. It's an endless series of proxy battles fought by mercenaries and machines. War, and its consumption of life, has become a well-oiled machine. War has changed. ID-tagged soldiers carry ID-tagged weapons, use ID-tagged gear. Nanomachines inside their bodies enhanced and regulate their abilities. Genetic control information. No, you prick. Where was I? Genetic control, information control, emotion control, battlefield control. Everything is monitored and kept under control. War has changed. The age of deterrence has become the age of control, all in the name of averting catastrophe from weapons of mass destruction. And he who controls the battlefield controls history. War has changed. When the battlefield is under total control, war becomes routine. Daniel. Is it control? It's not control, to be fair. <laughs> There's a lot of control in there. <laughs> Jam says Metal Gear. That that would have been my uh, second guess. Why does it keep buffering, you gimp? It's because his internet. Because he's in Wales and nowhere. Yeah, dial uh, Jam... Jam, I'll give you a point. It's Metal Gear 4. Mm. Yes, lad. Daniel. Yeah. You ready for the next one? Yep. This one's short. Okay. And sweet. You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? Sounds Jam, familiar. Jam knows that one, by the way. I don't. Um, you do. Can... Don't Google it, Jam, you bell end.
Can you read it again? You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? Not Final Fantasy, is it? Don't Google it. Stop being a gimp. Dan. It's it's not a Final Fantasy, is it? No. Not a Final Fantasy, mate. That's a no. good guess. Dan. You've what? met with a terrible fate, haven't you? Did it ring any bells? No. I'm a bit disappointed, to be honest. I've played clue. a lot of games. <sighs> Can I give you that? I mean, it is Zelda. Can I give him that, Dan? Um, if I guess the game correctly first time, then no. Go on, um, Majora's Mask. Yeah, it's Majora's Mask. <laughs> what I'm going to do? I'm going to give you both a point. Okay. Is that fair? Yeah, You've I think got that's fair. Teamwork makes a dream work. Um, both a point. Right, you're ready. The next one. This one. You're going to see what I did here. It's quite intuitive, mate. It's quite a long one, so bear with me. War. War never changes. Since the dawn of humankind, when our ancestors first discovered the killing power of rock and a bone, Blood has been spilt in the name of everything, from God to justice to simple psychotic rage. In the year 2077, after millennia of armed conflict, the destructive nature of man could sustain itself no longer. The world has plunged into an abyss of nuclear fire and radiation, but it was not, as some had pre predicted, the end of the world. Instead, the apocalypse was simply the prologue to another bloody chapter of human history. For man has succeeded in destroying the world... But war, war never changes. See what I did there with the two quotes. Mm. It's not Metal Gear 5. Stop being a gimp. Do you want a clue? I'll give you a clue on that one. Okay. I need to, I need to fact check myself first because I think I'm right, but I'm not sure. I need to fact check myself, Dan. That'll be two seconds, mate. Mm -hmm. Don't you worry your little head. <laughs> no, it's not Metal Gear. Get out of your head. Metal Gear substance. Substance. <laughs> what I just said mm -hmm. was in the game said mm -hmm. by Ron Perlman. Um, Call of Duty. It's not Call of Duty. Um, Jam. I told you, it's not Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Survive. It's not that either. <laughs> Fuck's sake, it's not that either. Uh, Ron Perlman. Ah. Do you want another clue? It's not coming to me it's at all. It's a PS3 slash Xbox 360 game. It's not a Hellboy jam, unfortunately. Although that'd be cool. Uh, Titanfall? No. Uh, oh, you didn't. Get better internet. Struggling on this one. Um, Ron Perlman. Ron I think of games with Ron Perlman. You know what it is, and you've probably played the shit out of it. I'm not sure, actually. I don't know what it is. I don't That's think you'd have, to be fair. Uh, 
I'm struggling. How's it, I guess? It's an RPG. I don't know if you, that helps. Jump saying Fallout 3. Uh, Jump saying Red Faction Gorilla. No, not. Um, um, I, can, I can tell you, Jam's right on one of them. They said it's an RPG. Uh, for, uh, I think I know which one then. It's Fallout 3, you give Well done, Jam. Yeah. <sighs> Daniel. You need this, yeah. you need this to pretend. stay in. Yeah, stay in the game. You ready? Yeah. Short, two short ones. Don't worry, I won't bore you for too long. Uh, you ready? Yeah. You better get this one. One of you better get this one. Okay. I'm about to kick off, mate. You ready? I'm not. I can't say it with the, the same pizzazz as, as the guy. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. Please get this one, you fucking knob. Um, uh, one of you needs to get it. Is it, it uh, Andrew Ryan? Bioshock? No, no, it's not bad. I won't use the same one twice. Come on, mate. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. Don't Google it. I see you, mate. I'm not. Pause in. <laughs> jam you with Jammy. That'll be when you Google the quote, Jam you. Oh, this quote. You know, no, no, trust me. You know this quote. I know it, but I don't, my head's not figuring it my out. My head's in the game, mate. What, um, what era? I mean, give me a second. Do you want the year the game come out? I'll do that. 2004. It's quite old. Um, time splitters. Not time splitters. Fuck. Um, there is a first person shooter. First person shooter. Call of Duty. No, man. Unlock it though. Dig, mate. I'm digging. Dig. First person shooter. The right uh, man and all. I'll try and do the. I can't do it. I can't do it as good as him. The right man and all the wrong place can make the world. I've read that wrong. The right man in the wrong place could make all the difference in the world. Fucking, that's quite close to be fair, Portal. Oh, um, Half Life. Half Life 2. Yeah, Half Life 2. Fucking 13, you. Pff, no, Half Life 2. Well done, Dan. I've just remembered it came as soon as he said Portal and he said it was something similar. I was like, shit, it's Half Life 2. <laughs> You ready for last one? You can yeah. make my life a, a nightmare here, Dan, because I've only got five quotes and this could be a decider. Okay. You ready? Yep. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. But enough talk have at you. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. I've heard it again. You have heard it. It's one of the most famous quotes of all time. I'm not good with quotes. This is my problem. <laughs> <laughs> I, I struggle to place them sometimes. 
Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's why the quote quiz is so much harder. <laughs> um... Mary's here. Struggling, 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 struggling. Um... What is a man? That measurable little pile of secrets. What enough talk have at you? Again, era, something like that. PS1. I could have... So we're talking PS1. Bloody hell. Old. Mm. I mean, <sighs> yeah, PS1. We're technically, you know, it's been, mm, but it's PS1. Yeah, you know I mean, did you play it a lot? I buzz off it, mate. Any guess at all? I'd, I'd take a guess at your uh, forgotten gem, something like Soul Reaver. <laughs> so, I see what you, uh, see where you come from. No, it's not Soul Reaver. Jam one more time. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets, but enough talk. Have at you. Um, not like a Final Fantasy game, is it? Mm. <sighs> John, what are you saying? I mean, I'm trying to. Um, I mean, you can play it on PS4. You can play it on your phone. Okay, and I got ported to PS4 and you buzz him. I am. I've got something in my head, and I just can't get. I think I know what it is now, but the game isn't coming into my brain, so I don't know the name of it. I played it. What's you have? You know the quote. When I say it, you're going to be like, oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Come on, brain. You can think. You know it. I mean, Jam, what is a man? A measurable little pile of secrets, but enough talk have at you. That's Mary. Mary know what it is. <laughs> You know what it is. What? The quote. I'm listening. What was, the, what was the quote again? What is a man, a miserable little pile of secrets, but enough what is talk a, have at you? What is a man, a miserable pile of secrets? Something at have you? <laughs> but enough talk have at you. But enough talk have at you. Actually, that does ring a bell to me. Yeah, it, it rings, rings a bell, bell to me, but I can't remember the game. Everyone knows what it is. <laughs> I'm, wait, if you tell me, and it's the game I was thinking, I'm going to cry. I just can't think of the name of the game. <laughs> you buzz him. I'm buzzing, but this ain't coming to me at all. You give up. I give up myself here. Yeah. Jam. I'll let Jam take me time. No, Jam just gives up as well. Um, when I said I got it on my phone. <laughs> yeah, Smash Bros. Ultimate. Yeah. I mean, is I mean, it is in Smash Brothers. Castlevania. Really? It's in, it's in Castlevania, yeah. Dracula says it. Uh, back end of Rondo of Blood into Symphony of the Night. Uh, oh, that wasn't my guess. No. What, what, what was it? Uh, so, um, the answer was Castlevania. But um, the one I was thinking of was um, a PS1 game where you played as a um, a skeleton. Oh. Uh, Mm. Uh, yeah, 
don't know what you mean. But I know, I know. That was my that was my guess, but I can't remember the name of the game because it was the one that came to yeah. PS4. I don't know. I must have heard it from somewhere else because I know. I said it is in game. Smash. Stop being a gimp. Oh, that's really annoying. But yeah, Daniel. Oh look, mate. Good, good goal, bro. Good goal with that. That that one's. Um... He's fuming. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh. You can't come on this show, Jam, and say things like that. That was an actual mic drop as well. <laughs> Symphony of Night is it's just immaculate in every way. Um, but anyway, Daniel. Yes. Thank you for coming, sir. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for talking to me about video games. I appreciate it a lot. Um, Thursday. Yeah. Ubisoft Forward. Jam. Yeah. 8 p.m. Maybe and Grandpa, if he's not with us on the, if he's not down here somewhere, be in the chat, talking some nonsense. Um, Always going to be buzzing about Prince of Persia. Let's hope we can hope, right? Um, but yes, we might have uh, we might have some bigger news um, beforehand too. Oh, because... yeah. Prices, yes, mate. Five. Prices. Let's get some prices. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so we'll be back Thursday. I'm not sure. I'll have to figure out what time it's on and um, it's 8 the show. PM. 8 p.m. our time. Yeah, yeah. We'll go same it, time if you want. It said 8 p.m. BST. Um, we'll, when we'll, I, uh, we'll go same time then if you want, and then we'll just walk, go into watching it because I think it'll be about an hour anyway, won't it? We'll just skip the, yeah. the quizzes and, and the popular opinions and things. Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. That would make but, uh, We might, we should probably start at like quarter to just if there is news on the PS5 or out like that. Just, just like, yeah, like if, if it's our. Yeah, if it's at half seven, it wouldn't be too much of an issue if you just yeah. roll into it. But um, yeah. cross that bridge when we come to it. Uh, Daniel, thank you again, sir. Jam. No worries. F you, again. mate. Symphony Night is expensive, but that's just the special edition they released. Still copy that, set you about three or 400 buff, mate. But um, you get on PS4. Or you can do the word. <laughs> but anyway, yes, Jam in the chat. Anyone on YouTube, remember, like, subscribe. Ring the bell, share with your friends, tell Dan that it's fucking Fallout, you knobhead, and all that shit. But, um, yeah. tell me fucking near shit or something, I don't know. And tell Jam that Star Wars is not, not as good as Star Trek. Uh, but until we are watching the Ubisoft forward, I thank you, good sirs, and we will see you next time. Adieu. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.